Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Now it's time for us to still discuss our trending stories, but over to our second story for the day. Absolutely. Now the Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations, Amina J. Mohammed, and also the former Minister of Environment under the President Muhammadu Buhari administration, has actually expressed some worries over Nigeria's debt control. Now Mrs. Mohammed expressed her concerns while speaking at the International Monetary Fund and the UN Working Together Conversation Program. She explained that although former Minister of Finance Ngozi Okonjo Iweala was very influential in the debt relief of Nigeria that was secured in 2005, the nation has since returned to the path of indebtedness. Now, she explained that monetary organizations and developing nations should have conversations about their economies while looking towards creating wealth and facilitating inclusive growth. Quote unquote, Amina J. Mohammed stated, It's important that we are looking at the public resources that are always going to be important, and so is ODA and the private sector. But I think we still haven't gotten to the solution yet, so I hope that the work that we do together will open up that space to think more on how to leverage on that and how to bring that in. Wow, Chukudi, what's your take on this? You know, severally, we have had this discussion about Britain Wood institutions mm -hmm. and, you know, being sincere when it comes to um, entering agreements with developing countries. But I always insist that these guys are just there for profit and they will take advantage of you. And when you go into any partnership, and the relationship is asymmetrical in the sense that you're always receiving. You're going to receive whatever aid with all the conditionalities. Now, that said, whether we like it or not, in finding lasting solutions to the problems that we are faced with in Nigeria, we would have to go from the immediate to medium term and finally long term. But it is unfortunate that on the 1st of October 2018, where we celebrate Nigeria as an independent country for 58 years, we would look at how we have invested in our great country and we have nothing to show for it. Now, we have had several dispensations, military junta, democratically elected um, governments. But interestingly, we have had 19 years of uninterrupted democratic rule from the 29th of May 1999. But it would seem that policies from assaults, maladministration, and a visionless lot have led the country astray. But Chukudi, when wanting to diversify one's economy, why is the first turning point always supposed to be aid? Because now we're stuck in a vicious cycle where we are totally in debt right now, 22 trillion naira and rising. And quite frankly, we are still looking at forms of aid. Last week, we spoke about China, $60 billion. Two weeks before, we were speaking about the Abacha loot, $350 million. Why do we always turn to aid instead of diversifying our Remember economy? I said immediate. For example, if you're involved in an accident, you try first aid to first cushion whatever effect, immediate, medium term, long term. Let's revisit what, um, you know, the great madam said. At some point, all our debts were cancelled, true or false. Because your country, we are chief police go about on job, you know, went cap in hand, begging, pleading. But today we are back to square one. Remember I said immediate, medium term and long term. See, whether you like it or not, as we are in Nigeria today, in order to deal with all the problems that we are faced with, there are two ways to go. You would get help from the outside. But most important is to look inwards. Indeed, because we know that is not necessarily always a bad thing, you know. That is He's what I'm saying. Able to use it See, and use it profitably. Immediate, medium term, long term. If we want to revamp our sectors, education, healthcare, all the very important sectors that will add value when we talk about human capital development. You need money now. But before you look outside, look inwards. We waste money on government. How much is the National Assembly sitting on? 150 billion naira every year. National Assembly. 109 senators. 360 uh, members of the House of Representatives. But I know it's an institution in itself. It's a legislative arm of government. They have workers, members of staff, and the rest of them. But... Let us tell ourselves the truth. We, there's wastage, excess wastage in government. The people from the outside don't care about you. They want to take advantage and exploit you. You should tell yourself that. Remember, immediate, what must we stop? But then what Medium is... term, what do we do after we consolidate? Long term, how are we going to build a future that our children will be proud of? It's not about you and I. The truth is, as Nigeria is today, it is not about you and I. Have you forgotten? Parents, listen to your children. We are the leaders of tomorrow. Try to pay our school fees and give us sound education. Sound education, nowhere. Are you the leader of tomorrow? Let's be sincere. But the parents be. are still the leaders of today. Not parents. Our parents are still even watching from the sidelines. But look at it this way. People that are older than Nigeria are the people jostling to rule this country. I can't... Uh, 
But Chukudi, it's very confusing at the same time because, especially of recent, right, the vice president has spoken up a lot about the practicing of federalism and how he is in huge support of actually letting our states have some sort of autonomy and actually generating their own revenue, etc. Thank you. Yet, we are literally still looking at a structure that doesn't even allow us to actually adopt and adapt because our own natural resources. We keep so talking more than we are acting. All you need to do is use the instrument of the law. We have the exclusive concurrent list. We have the residual list. There are certain things that are the exclusive purview of the federal government. For example, look at the mess mm. at the ports. That is the business of the federal government. And that's why Lagos State government is saying, please do, what, do all that you can to see that you make life easier for us. People are moving out of Apapa. If you are going to Apapa, just the whole day is gone. It's wasted. I was on community reports where somebody said they have to leave work as early as 1.30. And it's been like that for a while now. In fact, there's For over increased. a year now. Now it's even increased. Tankers, in week he so. heavy utility vehicles have been packed on our bridges. We are not yeah. doing that because we keep talking. All we do is talk, 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 mm -hmm. talk, and we don't act. Actually, in oh. fact, I don't even want to waste too much time. Ten seconds on this quickly. I was in a place yesterday where I could see the whole of Lagos Island literally from a very high point of view. The traffic at 5, 6 p.m. Like the past and the way people were disobeying terrible. the traffic lights and you're seeing them blocking main roads, Ozumba and Badiwe, and you're like, is everybody okay? Now, this is what we must do. Like what she has advocated, we need to be sincere and tell ourselves the truth. And how do we do this? First and foremost, there's a lot of wastage in government. If we begin to cut down on this waste, we would be able to get funds, billions in dollars, that we would invest in our great country, Nigeria. It is not going to happen overnight. Look at the power sector now. My fear I told is you of a newspaper end. report I read, I think in 19, I think 1987, saying, you know, um, um, blackout will be a thing of the past. You know what I'm shouting up Nepal in Nigeria. Chukudi, my worry is that at the end of the day, even when we cut away this wastage and we are able to get resources, we will not see adequate dispensation or ad adequate administration. You know of why? Funds. You know why? You know we've been talking about Abacha loot and all this loot coming and you know they say they want to share it for five You know why? You know why? Because you have a people who are only thinking about themselves. Remember, I've insisted here that it's not about you and I. If we're going to be honest, it's not about you and I because it's, it's, it's no miracle. It cannot happen overnight. It's okay. going to be concerted efforts so right. that posterity will come back and look at this generation and say, indeed, we looked at the problems of Nigeria and charted a course for development. To right. so enjoy more of this, our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.